All right, okay, so I didn't do Pisces all signed singles uh, and Aquarius, I think. Okay, that's what, anyway, so that's what's going on. I had, uh, let's see, yesterday I did the Virgo Moon uh, reading. Okay, so I kind of feel like it's still Virgo Moon, but um, anyway, um, let's see what comes up. Okay, we're going to do, um, and I still am going to do the Women's Month readings. I just uh, found the <laughs> cards for them, and uh, I, I wanted to find the book because what I wanted to do was, like, women's for each sign. Okay, and so, but I'm going to use these as a, uh, for the reading today. Okay, and um, so, well, actually, I wanted to use that other deck, the um, Gods and Titans. This one right here. All right, so let's see. Let's start with a spark of happiness. <laughs> okay, the sun came out bright and, and nice early this morning, so I connected with that. <laughs> Indulge in a weekend nap. Ooh, I've been going to sleep earlier. Okay. Take a break from social media. Ooh, that's been coming up for at least a couple of months. <laughs> okay, enjoy simple sensory pleasures. A fresh, clean towel or ice-cold lemonade. Let's get another one. Monitor. Oh, why did I say monitor? Mentor a younger person. Keep a list of good things that happen when you're feeling down, refer to it. So that was like a journal and write down like the good things that happen in your day. And then when things get tough, you can whip that out and read it. Okay. So it's like you take your focus. Um, it's not like putting your head in the sand, but it, it's like changing your focus so that uh, the new improvement can come in. Sit quietly, breathe deeply, and recall a time when you felt great joy. Ooh, let's do this one again. Sit quietly, breathe deeply, and recall a time when you felt great joy. Ooh, that was this morning. <laughs> and whenever I get confused, I just hang out with my dogs. <laughs> Turn a project or a task into a celebration. Invite friends over to help. Ooh. Okay, one more. Spend some time around animals. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay, so this is all sign singles Aquarius, and then we might do it on the same video if we can, Aquarius and Pisces. All right, so let's start with Aquarius. What is going on here? Aquarius, all sign singles. Okay. Ooh, okay, so this is your glow up, <laughs> period. Okay, so, um, oh, wow. Okay, so what I'm getting here is... I'm getting Venus energy, actually, so it might be a Pisces that you're connecting with, Aquarius, or Virgo. Queen of Pentacles is here. Okay, so it could be, could be Libra, could be Taurus. I would say any of the earth signs who is a feminine energy, it doesn't have to be a female, but... Um, and is in tune uh, would be um, in their element in its fullest okay is what I want to say all right now what's next card okay now there is a potential to come back with someone who is um, Someone that is a past life soulmate might be coming in here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. 
It could also be someone that you said goodbye to over the winter period. And it could have been a, Cap <clears throat> a Capricorn. The other thing I'm getting here is... You've been building on something and you are waiting for your fruits of your labor to start showing. I'm getting this as magnetism. Like these, sometimes they come up as particles, but I'm picking it up as magnetism here. It's like, what are you, what have you been um, energetically uh, bringing in? That's what I'm getting. And I feel like it's coming in. Okay, so now for some of you, that might be lover. All right. Now for some of you, this was couldn't focus on the love thing because you had some sort of challenging, contrasting energy that you were um, working on. And you might have had to even retreat. Okay. Now, for another group of you, this is um, someone still thinks of you fondly and has their eye on you and wants to bring in the connection and the physical reality, and they kind of gave up on it because they could see that you were doing other things. Okay, that's one. All right, and they uh, kind of gave up on it. That's like not having faith in it. Okay, and they saw it as too much work and too much competition. Now, for some of you, they could see that you had battles that you were dealing with. Okay, now this could be internal battles or battles with uh, contrasting energy in the earth realm. All right. And you're trying to gain your balance. Ooh, this four of clover is coming out again. Okay. To balance. Okay, so let's get the balancing spark of balance here. Okay, let's flip that around. Write about how you most want to feel. Spend time connecting with a person or animal without any distractions. Think of some activities you find exciting and do one now. Create an affirmation that makes you feel powerful. Oh, okay, so this could be like uh, non-movement. So it's like the message is, if you haven't been moving, the, the message is get out, okay? And as you start moving around, the pinnacles will even balance out. <clears throat> Contemplate your childhood dreams and how you feel about them now, okay? So you can even do movement in the house, right? Doing yoga, if you really don't want to get out, you could... Uh, do yoga, whatever it is, some movement in the house, okay, treadmill, you could get one of those, um, I bought one of these things uh, online, it was like, I think it was like 50 or 70 bucks, and it was like a stair walk thing, and it was just one you could move to any room, okay, And that is what I used since the Capricorn energy is here. It was like when I was going to Italy, right? I bought that treadmill thing. And I used that. Uh, it's like, it's, it's like, it was like two foot things and it goes like this. Okay. And um, I used that and you could change the, the density on it, light or heavy. Okay. So that's kind of like this reading. Okay, choosing a lighter energy. Okay, so, but 
when I was going to Italy, I knew I was going to be hiking a lot and walking on uh, hills and mountains and stuff. So um, I did that walk, something of the gods or whatever. And, um, and so I had to do that so that I would be uh, fit for it. Okay. And so that's kind of the energy I'm getting here, movement. All right, now Keeper of the Pinnacles. Okay, so uh, I don't think you have to worry about the money. It's coming in. Okay, so here is the star, Anne Frank. This is a Jewish star. Okay, so it might be someone who um, is from a different culture or a different religion even I got. Okay. Let's see what these other cards say. But it's like feeling like you've lift a uh, weight lifted. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, a weight has been lifted. Feeling light again, like spring. Okay, Diary of Anne Frank is what I just picked up. Okay, so Diary of Anne Frank. It's like keep a journal of um, the things that you uh, want to bring in and uh, also, uh, again, the happy things that happen in your day. Okay, so Aries, the green man. Hades and renewal. That's what I'm getting. That's the, this. I picked this whole reading up, and that was the renewal. Some rebirth to renewal. It's like going from winter to spring. Okay, now the thing that I'm getting here is uh, for some of you, it's anyone with that Pluto energy, so it could be like. Um, I want to say Scorpio or Capricorn. Okay. Now, it could be those polar opposites, but that's what I'm getting, that energy. Okay. Could be a fire sign. Now, let's see. I think Mars, did it transit yet? Did it move? Okay, but what I'm getting is if you haven't felt like move me, moving, you're going to feel like more energetic and, um, and more abundant because that movement is what is going to uh, get the energy going and flowing. Okay, so um, let's read the green man here. And that could be like calling, calling your past life person. That could be that, too. Look at the dragons. Okay. What's the next one? Okay, so this is Achilles, confidence, moving in confidence and wisdom. Woo! Okay, so whatever it is, um, your connection, you will be feeling more confident and more, I want to say awake is what I'm getting here. Okay, now, if you have any question about anything, always go within, right? But what I'm getting is, um, whenever you're connecting with somebody, whatever you get the impulse to ask, um, I feel like it's important to ask questions to really get to know someone, right? And they may not divulge everything, but I feel like it's it's a good way to really get to know someone. 
Okay. Let's read this one. Abundance. Is there something with green men and, and uh, this war thing or something? That's coming up. I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, we're on all sign singles. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> Green man. Prosperity and growth are bursting forth. Any seeds you plant now will flourish. Okay, so that's the feeling that I got here was like waiting for the fruits of your labor to be seen in the physical reality. Okay, and magnetizing it to you. Okay. All right, so here we go. Walk through any rural area in Glastonbury and Cornwall areas of Britain. And you might see a leafy face appearing up through the ground itself. In churches in Spain and France, <clears throat> his features appear carved into the columns. In Wales, his face appears carved into the trees, entwined with curling vines and very essence of growth and fertility. The green man crosses many cultures and countries. Uh, his is perhaps one of the oldest energies that the glorious abundance of the earth and its plants. <clears throat> Lord of the woods, forest gardens, and all that grows there. The green man has vitally and renewal <clears throat> has vitality and renewal flowing through his volatile. <clears throat> vol I almost said volatile. Okay. Um, Voliate body. Okay. In the Wiccan tradition, the green man is re <clears throat> related to the horned god and is often used to represent <clears throat> the masculine divine. Excuse me. <clears throat> the gods, uh, Serenunos, Pan, and even Osiris are considered close energetic relations. Ooh, and, and you got Osiris. Where did it go? All right, well, it did come up wherever it went. <laughs> Where did that go? All right, okay, so anyway, let's keep reading. Okay, so we want to do the green man here. Okay. Should the green man unfurl in your life, know that the growth is underway and is bound to bring with it prosperity in all things. The deep energies of the earth are at work to help you co-create the green that you want, whether that is health, success, in school, or even wealth. The green man also fosters the feelings of enthusiasm and passion and works side by side with you as things expand and transform and grow. Ask yourself, what is it that you wish to grow? What seeds need to be sown? Are you focused on school and academics or is this a time you wanna focus on creating beautiful art or writing? Whatever it is, the green man can help you create in abundance. All right, so the color green, wearing the color green, face with leaves and vegetation. Okay, so I got seaweed mask. <laughs> the green man also signals a feeling of unstoppable exuberance. This in itself is pleasurable, but sometimes we cannot stop. It is wild and sometimes... Uh, can be shadowy energy okay in the darker aspect the green man is a trickster or the dark lord of all he surveys step into the most untamed forest or the thick bush and we um, still feel a fear of all that is wild and alive sometimes we fear prosperity in our own growth in the same way sometimes we cave too much we crave too much abundance letting it take over our lives Okay, so this is a great, lively chant to do outdoors with a group or to build energy. Get out a drum and pound away. Green, green, my heart, it beats. Green, green, you who are the sound of my football, footfall in the forest. Hear my prayer tonight. You who are the nectar, roots, and flowers, feel my prayer tonight. You who grow straight and honest, you who, who 
seed and live and die. You who rise from the compost, speak your word tonight. Green, green, my heart it beats. Green, green, green man come forth. Green man run forth. Green man meet me. Green, green. Okay, I'm just going to do this so. Can you see it? Get it in. Let me see if I can focus it. Oh, that's nice. Light, light came in right on time. Thank you. <laughs> and that has been your reading. Thank you. Oh, did I not show the cards again? Goodness gracious. Okay. All right, we'll do Pisces on another. <laughs>